Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cassington. This is a video I'm doing uh, on uh, some work on the apex of this roof. Now, I rarely have my hard hat on when I'm working, but taking into consideration the weight of that, if it was to ever give way, a hard hat might afford some protection. Now, let's have a look here. Some people sometimes ask me if masonry bees do damage to property. And the answer is yes. Here's the evidence. The question you've got to ask yourself first of all is what condition is the stone in? What's, what condition is the mortar in? These masonry bees wouldn't have stood much of a chance if the stone was, wasn't in a bad state and uh, if the mortar was relatively in relatively good condition. Clearly, what we've got here is very soft stone. Very soft indeed. So this is gonna to have to come out, I have to replace it. But once it's been replaced, the masonry bees will not be able to get back in. Here you can see some mortar that's drying out, waiting to be brushed down a bit further. Once that's dry, masonry bees won't stand a chance and we've got some new pieces of stone in there so this will be made masonry bee proof um, clearly in answer to most people's questions what uh, uh, regarding masonry bees what can I do about masonry bees first of all maintain top maintenance will always result in um, pure masonry bees making it much more difficult for them to gain access to the property. But if you just put a few masonry bee boxes up, there's a very high likelihood they'll use these. Now, God, that's a bit scary, isn't it? Can it touch the chimney liner? Now, whilst I'm here, I might as well um, say one or two things about uh, cement mortar and lime mortar. Here we've got nice, soft lime mortar. Absolutely no problems getting it out. And then, of course, Dink, 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 dink. Ah, oh, here we go again. And the worst thing about it is, someone's mixed this mixed cement into sharp sand, making it absolutely rock hard. Fine if you're repointing granite, but look at how soft Cotswold stone actually is. Anyway, you can see it's cracked. It's coming away from the side of the building. Rule number one when it comes to period properties, especially listed buildings, never ever ever use cement mortar. Right, any questions please post below. Thank you. Right, so here's the completed piece of work. All stone replaced. Mortar replaced. This is now impenetrable to mortar bees. And the reason for that is because they're just not interested. Once you make it difficult for them, all that happens is they just go away. And that's the end of that. Uh, anyway, bit windy up here, so uh, better go.